to our second report from Ikosikitu, Aladilola Street specifically. Now, this street is one of the longest streets in Kitu area, and they have a major challenge. The main link bridge between Ikosikitu and Shangisha is in a terrible state, and this is actually a very easy access route to CMD Road, then to the Lagos Ibadan Expressway. So if you live in Aladilala and you are going to Shangisha, you just have to turn over to about 5 kilometers drive just because of a small link bridge. We went there and we spoke to the community and the people are really begging the Lagos State Government to come to their aid. Watch the story from Aladilala Street. is one of the major streets in Ketu area of Lagos State, Southwest Nigeria. It's a one of the longest streets in the area which also housed the corporate office of Television Continental. At the end of Aladilola Street is a link road to CMD which burst out to the Lagos Ibado Expressway. This link road is a major escape route whenever there is a traffic gridlock on the CMD road. The road also serves as alternative route from the Lagos Ibad Expressway to link K2. Aladi Lola Street is simply an access route to many parts, which makes life easy for motorists and commuters in Lagos State. Unfortunately, the end of the road is a terrible state of disrepair. The link bridge between Aladi Lola and Shangisha has collapsed, while the canal is blocked with refuse and dirt taking over the drainage. When the road was constructed newly, it served all of the residents of Madudo, Shangisha, and people that are coming through CMD Road that are not coming to Lagos. Uh, because when you are coming to Ekosi, uh, Wolga, and get to Ketu, for instance, once there is a traffic build up along CMD Road, the only alternative that you have is to come through car wash and pass through this road and link it through the um, TVC office and then get to Mr. Lagos and go uh, down to Ketu. But, that is not the case because of this thing that you see. As thick as the road was built then, yet because of the lack of uh, proper drainage, the road broke up and it's no longer working at this moment. And if we have that in place, this road is fixed for instance, it's going to serve the whole of the people that are living in this area and it's going to bring succor onto the people that live in this area and the people that are even passing here. Because the traffic that we have on um, CMD road for instance now that road doesn't have the carrying capacity especially in the morning when people are going to work and so instead of going through this road again now go through Allah you know the tire which is in itself is in a state um, is in a state that is no longer possible. It's all about two executive government now. Local government chairman that they attempted to do this thing, they will just do it after and leave it. And this road is a link between a lot of places in this place. If you have road order up, even along the major road, people used to pass this place where it was even fear. So, and the worst thing is when it rain like this, in the rainy period like this, not even old road, people used to suffer because of this road because no, no drainage, nothing, there's nothing government is built to this place. We are even suffering because of this road. Not, not just to pass a low, it's affecting a lot of houses here. This road is very, very bad. Especially when you show up and there is no way for us to pass where it's you need to turn around and pass when I knew the tire because no road, even children. Very we for children to four years and sometimes if the wind is very, very heavy, very, very heavy, it's not sure. Most of the time. So I think I should, I should please help me today. Maybe it's a bridge. I don't know when. I don't want to move again. We just of course. As far as I can remember, this road, this road has been like this for like for the past five years. I worship in a church very close to this place, Shekina Parish. Uh, we 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 experience during rainy season. We come around as a church. We mobilize our people to clear the road, but joining any city is a problem for us. This road has been like this for the past five years. A journey which ordinarily would have been less than five minutes will now take about 30 minutes as motorists would have to go and turn in a distance of about five kilometers before getting to Shangisha. Mm -hmm. 
Maria in this book about six years ago. I have been a year to be the road. The road was used for about ten. Uh, is it up to a year? It's not up to a year after he did the road. Then they now call the contractor that come and see what what we are doing. Since then, no response. Most of the landlords they have reported the issue to the local road. Nobody responds to it. I can remember the the rain that fell last week ago. So terrible. If they drop a water fall from there, they see how the people are going to Nobody will come back. They have to park here. Yes. Just you can see it. Even if you if you can you can shoot it. You can see cars park along the road here. Of course, people cannot pass here. Then when you want to come from here, you have to You have to park there and walk across. I mean, it's it's so inconveniencing. I mean, what should take you three minutes, you don't end up spending about another thirty-five minutes getting to your house. So it's it's it's, 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 it's so much disorganized. Everybody, you know, disorganized all about. So I think we be a very, very source of great inconvenience to us. I would plead with the state government. We know it's an action, we know the government should have an action governor. We should send the commissioner for work to come and see this place. This road is very, very terrible. As far as this place is concerned, whenever it rains, everywhere is flooded. And when it is flooded like that, the passerby, uh, the trekkers, the uh, motorbike, or the vehicles cannot pass. We will not be able to pass. But all what you need just to put this drainage in order and then this lake bridge. When they are put in order, definitely this room will link this CMD road. This CMD road, see, see some people have to park their car over there just because there is no link between this Aladi Lola and this CMD road. Just because they don't, this road is not fixed. And then we've made complaints several times without number. Almost six, seven years now. They came to life for like uh, two years ago. They come and do it. It's, it's nothing to, do, to write home about. We just, we just to fill this room so that this room, there, there will be a linkage between this Aladi Lola and this CMD so that people can pass through Sangisha Mangudu and then link Aladi Lola. When there is hold up along this, that CMD room, they can pass here and link Ketu Bosco. Can you imagine? They can link Ketu Bosco. They can link Palace. They can link so many things. They can link my trip. Just passing through this uh, this, this, this CMB line that they were about this, this place, the major impact is the major obstacle for them. They cannot pass, they cannot go, there's nothing they can do because if it is not passable even by people, how can it be passing well to uh, by Okada, uh, Okada people or motorists? So we want the government to come and do something for us urgently so that if it, there is any rain, we will be able to pass through this place easily. We've been suffering this for more than five years, all because the justice drain that is probably about a 20, 30 feet long not pass through the place because the discharge is still further down, which is on which is in place. But just this room, just getting the drainage right, and they're suffering here for about five years. And I think the state government should please come and look at it and do something about the idea. Residents of Aladi Lola told Sharplands that series of appeal have been made to the Lagos state government on the issue with no response in the last five years. However, one feature of the street is that there were structures built along the drains. Some fences are also obstructing the free flow of water through the canal. This, some of the residents agreed, was the cause of the flood anytime it rained. For now, the people of Aladi Lola would have to cope with the situation of their road and canal until help comes from the lake. I do believe the Lagos State Government is watching and listening, and we hope help will come very, very soon. That is much time we permit us on Sharplands today. I do hope you've enjoyed the program. Now, is anything happening around your area that you think the world should know about? There are some numbers on your screen. Pick your phone, give us a call, or send us an SMS. And let me tell you that this program is also open for sponsorship from corporate bodies and companies. Just walk to our office, number 19, Aladilara Street.